This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at landing lens. Okay, so this is a computer vision platform from landing AI. You can actually use it. Uh, you can, uh, it is currently free to use. So landing AI is a company founded by Andrew NG. Okay. And uh, it is focused on data centric AI and their first full scale uh, platform basically from uh, basically you can uh, say without any code develop projects. Okay. And you can deploy them as well. So using this platform called landing lens. Okay. So I actually signed up for landing lens i used my google mail account two days back so i get a free trial which ends in 28 days so what are the projects which you can do over here you can actually you know do classification if i click on the start first project right you can actually do object detection segmentation classification so i would want to try a project on classification so i select this right and then I can actually upload data. So for this particular project, I would uh, want to use, say, the Rice image data set from Kaggle. So this has images of varieties of rice grains. Okay. So here you have these varieties of rice grains. So and it has 15K images per rice variety. Okay. So the data set has 12 morphological, 4 shape and 90 color features. So you can make use of this to actually create CNN models. The idea is to classify race varieties. So I created a new project over here. So probably I'll name it as rice classification. Okay. Right. So I can then upload images. So I want to upload labeled images. So I'll click here. So it gives me two options over here. One is unclassified images and then I have to use the platform labeling tool to classify the images, to label the images or I can upload classified images. Okay. So I'll go into this over here. Here it says that it should be, uh, you know, uh, basically images should be stored under the respective class label folders. So what I'll do is I'll click over this, right? And uh, here it says that mm, I have to upload based on the classes, right? So I'll click on this and I will go to the particular folder where I have my uh, experiment images, basically. I named it as landing AI. Yeah. So here I have this rice image data set. So I'm using, say, only 200 images per category of our per class of rice variety over here. So these are the five varieties. Okay. So I'll first choose Arborio and upload. Okay. It says upload uh, all files from this only if you do this trust this site. So I'll say upload. So it gives this. So then I have to upload the next folder. So again, I click and I upload the next folder. Okay. Even though the picture there assumed that if you have a folder under which these subfolders are present and I upload that, it will take the labels. But what I found out is that you need to up upload separately each of these folders. Okay. So now Basmati, upload again. Then I will upload, uh, say, Ipsala. Okay. Upload. Then I will upload the next variety, which is. Jasmine. Okay. Then I will upload the last variety, which is Karasadak. Okay. Upload again says, yeah. So now I have thousand images and if you go down over here, it shows per, you know, class basically, right? Now I have to upload these images. I'll upload the images, right? Now it is actually uploading these images. It takes some time to upload the images. I think it's based on the internet speed. Okay. Um, so let's wait for this image upload to complete. Images are almost uploaded. We have say another 30 images to be uploaded. 
next let's wait for it yeah so images have been uploaded okay thousand images and you can see these images over here right for each category uh, all the categories it is showing over here so now you can go over here and you can say more actions you can manage classes you see all the classes aims are there and you have these images right i don't want to create any additional class i don't want to do any labeling instructions okay so now let's go back to build and let's see what other options are there you can manage metadata you can also auto split so let's try out this auto split and it says that uh, include assigned test data to be reassigned by default all approved with no split assigned images will be selected for auto splitting next we'll go to the distribution 70 20 10 for all the categories okay um, so basically 70 for train development is 20 and test is 10 okay then we'll go to assign split okay it is done that right it's created the data sets so we'll close this right and then what actions are available over here yeah so this is this thing now we can actually say train right train with custom options let's see what are this thing so you can have data transforms present over here where you can actually uh, you know transform your data okay so this is rescale with padding and uh, it basically rescales the images to height and width 512 cross 512 and you can also add transforms over here like resize crop things okay uh, you can also preview this transform effect so this is the preview of this transform effect right we'll close it uh, you can also do data augmentation over here so horizontal flip uh, you can do random augmentation number of transforms magnitude you can also add other augmentations like random brightness blur uh, gaussian blur vertical flip random rotate okay so you can do that over here you can preview the augmentation effect also on your images that kind of shows it like this right then you can also select some hyperparameters over here so for example the number of epochs is 40 over here probably i'll reduce it to 10 just for this experiment and model size is medium models with medium or high capacity these models can learn complex patterns in data they are more accurate however overfitting can happen small models are with low capacity they are less uh, unlikely to learn complex patterns in data tend to be less accurate when making predictions on new data um, so i'll try small over here and then i will say train model okay so as you have seen till now this is completely no code unfortunately i get this error over here saying quota uh, feature usage exceeded usage quota so i'm not able to uh, run this particular uh, training but previously i had actually trained uh, like this maybe let's try again and see oh it says this training will cost thousand credits mm, uh, i think because i have tried it previously it did not allow me to you know create a model because i have previously tried with some examples and i think i have run out of uh, you know credits over here but it says users is on the free trial plan so let me look at plan and billing ah so my credit limit for this month is crossed mm -hmm. uh, project creation limit i can create it image limit i have these things okay so should i buy some credits or something mm, i'm not sure over here let me check usage so i actually created a project and even deleted it yeah for that thousand credits for training has been used hmm. so maybe i should be able to buy extra credits i believe so let me check that so here i find out that uh, you know for thousand credits you need 33 dollars per month say these are the various plans which are available for example if it is a starter project then you get 20 projects 500 images per project 10 model versions per project 
unlimited users so based on this actually i had previously tried the same experiment over here right uh, and uh, since it is like now uh, what is a credit it is like for one image inferenced a credit is equal to one image trained or one image inferenced i should have checked this out i didn't really check it out so because i tried training on 1000 images previously so my 1000 credits have been you know uh, it's kind of uh, what do you call my 1000 credits have expired over here or or have been used so i need to actually now pay 33 dollars to actually try out this platform so probably i'll not go ahead with it okay um so instead i will just show you what i did with the previous project um which i unfortunately have deleted but once you say train uh, what i understand is that um a particular gpu instance is allocated to you and it trains a model okay and then once a model has been trained you can actually deploy it and when you deploy it an api is generated uh, with the api key you can actually then uh, try out that particular api so once a model has been trained over here you can also actually um so you know predict um, based on the model you can upload your images and you can do inference for prediction okay uh there are some examples available of projects over here but you can actually try out your own uh, use cases but from what i have learnt now um please be wary of this 1000 credits i should have checked it out before i didn't really check this out this part i was thinking that it's a free trial so i did not check it out uh, but it is good you check out this and probably you select a less number of images to you know kind of try out this platform okay so this was a short video on landing lens not a full fledged video because i didn't feel it worth to spend another 33 you know dollars for training 1000 images okay for getting 1000 credits i didn't um, see anything worth you over here so um, by default it will be upgraded to the next credit package you can downgrade okay so yeah i didn't want to really try it out i was thinking this was a free trial so i thought maybe you should get some more credits because you can easily kind of uh, exhaust this 1000 credits okay another thing i did was i deleted my previous projects if only there were a way to actually recover your previous projects that would have been nice because then i could have shown you but i don't think that is currently available okay but this is the idea over here in with uh, say zero code you can actually create computer vision projects that is the idea over here and here are some examples of these various uh, projects let's say if you click this what happens i just want to see over here okay it says predict and probably i can try out ah even for that it says quota exceeded okay I think somewhere if this detail was explicit saying that you have 1000 credits and uh, you can try out that much only i would have actually been careful in selecting the number of images so that is another thing which i find it's not transparent and clear over here that could have helped second thing is if you want to delete a project now okay you need to search within settings go to administrative over here and then delete the project it's not very straight forward okay that is another thing which i observed and here it says all label training models in this project will be inaccessible as so probably once you delete a project you can't really recover it back so still there are some bugs it needs to be more user friendly i feel probably sometimes you should be able to uh, you know recover a deleted project up to a certain period that would be helpful and more transparency around uh, this starter free trial would be helpful in the sense that you know how much credits is available what is a credit and those things um should be more explicit before you actually can try out this i hope others can learn from my experience over here okay so this was a short video on landing lens i tried out a model previously as i said i have trained it and it kind of worked and gave me good accuracy but these are some restrictions over here currently
okay so i hope this short video on landing lens is useful for you if you want to try it out just be wary of this free trial and number of credits and you can try out uh, i will put a link to this app you can um, check it out i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video